Good morning. I know it's morning sunlight where you are probably. It's still darkness here, but it'll be morning soon for me as well. Have you noticed how the Christmas season comes during the darkest time of the year? The sun doesn't shine nearly as often in December as it does in other months. It's a funny thing though, nighttime and darkness, I've noticed that they change how we live, how we move, how we perceive the world around us. In daylight, for instance, we can manage by our own light. We have freedom. We have uh, also distractions, don't we? In darkness, however, darkness obscures our choices. It limits us and keeps us from some distractions. We just focus on that one light and how it leads us. In darkness also, our senses do have to focus and wait for sometimes a single solitary flame to show us the way. I'm going to spend my day, and I hope you do the same, thinking about what Jesus meant when he said, I am the light of the world. Part of that, I think, is that focusing on Jesus is part of following him. Focusing on him, not the distractions around me. Also, it means waiting for him like we wait for the flame to show us the very next step. Waiting for him and him alone to, sh to reveal to us what is true and best to show us the way, his way, through an often very dark world. And so today, whether you go through your day by sunlight or whether you are guided by electric light or even candlelight, think, about with, think with me, if you would, about what it means that Jesus is the light for you and for me. What does it mean to follow him, to set aside distractions? I invite you to pray with me, Jesus, would you show me the way? And guide me to focus upon you. Because Jesus, at Christmas time, the wonderful truth of that season is that Jesus, the light of the world, came to the world on that very first dark Christmas night so that you and I might be guided and might know how to focus on what God has for us and all the best he wants for us. God bless you today.